The Madras High Court is the highest court in the Indian state of Tamil Nadu located at Chennai formerly known as Madras. The court is one of the three high courts in India established at the Presidency Towns by Letters Patent granted by Her Majesty Queen Victoria, bearing date June 26, 1862. It exercises original jurisdiction over the city of Chennai and appellate jurisdiction over the entire state as well as extraordinary original jurisdiction, civil and criminal, under the Letters Patent and special original jurisdiction for the issue of writs under the Constitution of India. It consists of 52 judges and a chief justice who is in charge of the general policy adopted in the administration of justice. History, from 1817 to 1862, the Supreme Court of Madras was situated in a building opposite Beach Railway Station. From 1862 to 1892, the High Court too was housed in that building. The present buildings were officially inaugurated on July 12, 1892, when the then Madras governor, Balbi Baron Wenlock, handed over the key to the then Chief Justice Sir Arthur Collins. British India's three presidency towns of Madras, Bombay, and Calcutta were each granted a high court by letters patent dated June 26, 1862. The letters patent were issued by Queen Victoria under the authority of the British Parliament's Indian High Courts Act 1861. The three courts remain unique in modern India, having been established under British Royal Charter. This is in contrast with the country's other high courts, which have been directly established under Indian legislation. However, the Constitution of India recognizes the status of the older courts. The Madras High Court was formed by merging the Supreme Court of Judicature at Madras, and the Sada Duani Adolat. The court was required to decide cases in accordance with justice, equity and good conscience. The earliest judges of the High Court included Judges Holloway, Innes and Morgan. The first Indian to sit as a judge of the High Court was Justice T. Muthusamiriya. Other early Indian judges included Justices V. Krishnasamiya and P. R. Sundaramiya. The Madras High Court was a pioneer in original side jurisdiction reform in favor of Indian practitioners as early as the 1870s. The Madras High Court's history means that the decisions of the British Judicial Committee of the Privy Council are still binding on it, provided that the ratio of a case has not been overruled by the Supreme Court of India. Although the name of the city was changed from Madras to Chennai in 1996, the court as an institution did not follow suit, and has remained as the Madras High Court. Building Complex The building of the High Court, an exquisite example of Indo-Saracenic style of architecture, was built in 1892 with a design prepared by J. W. Brassington and later under the guidance of the famed architect Henry Irwin, who completed it with the assistance of J. H. Stevens. The High Court building was damaged in the shelling of Madras by SMS Emden on September 22, 1914, at the beginning of the First World War. It remains one of the very few Indian buildings to have been damaged by a German attack. There are several matters of architectural interest in the High Court. The painted ceilings and the stained glass doors are masterpieces in themselves. The old lighthouse of the city is housed within the High Court campus but is unfortunately poorly maintained and is in disrepair. The Department of Posts has allotted a postal index number code of 600104 to the zone occupied by the Madras High Court. The boundaries of the High Court complex are marked by two roads, namely, Prakasam Road and Rajorji Road, stretching northward from the statue of Rajorji in the northeast and the statue of T. Prakasam Garu in the southwest within the complex. The complex houses the largest number of courts in Asia. Bench, with Chief Justice Sanjay Kishan Call heading the court, it currently has 49 judges who exercise civil, criminal, writ, testamentary and admiralty jurisdiction. The Madurai bench has been functioning since 2004. The vestiges of the colonial high court continue to characterize the premises till date. In a rare tradition which is today a distinction, Judges of the Madras High Court are still led by orderlies who bear a ceremonial mace made of silver. This is a practice so old and Anglican that most high courts and even the Supreme Court of India have either not had the practice at all or have abandoned it long back. Reporting, Madras Law Journal, the Madras High Court is the birthplace of organized legal reporting in India. It is home to the Madras Law Journal, 
which was the first journal dedicated to reporting texts of judgments of the High Court started way back in 1891. An informal eponymous club called the Saturday Club, that met at 11 a.m. Every week, was started at the house of the Vakil Bar's senior member Sir S. Subramania Ayer in Mylapore in 1888 with all leading members of the Madras Bar taking part. At one of these meetings it was decided to start the Madras Law Journal, which was inspired by the then newly established periodicals like Law Quarterly Review, started by Sir Frederick Pollock in England in 1885 and the Harvard Law Review established by Harvard Law School Association in 1887. The objectives of the journal were laid out in the preface of the first issue, in addition to giving our own reports of the decisions of the high courts in Madras and other places, we hope to place before our readers translations of various Hindu law books which remain yet untranslated, insofar as they have bearing on questions which practically arise for decision every day in our courts of justice. We propose further from time to time, to place side by side the conflicting decisions of the various courts in India on the same point in the hope that such procedure will enable the courts to act in greater harmony than they do at present in the interpretation of acts and enunciation of general principles of law and when this is not possible, to enable the legislature to bring about such harmony by removing the ambiguities which may have given rise to such discordant views. Right from the beginning, the Madras Law Journal has been a source of inspiration and instruction to the students of law and its notes and editorial reviews always evoked admiration and respect. It achieved well-deserved fame throughout India, in England and America and indeed throughout the British Empire for its quickness and accuracy in reporting and discrimination in the selection of cases to be reported. It has now came to occupy a premier place among legal periodicals in the country and its weight and authority have been consistently considerable with the bench and the bar in all parts of India. Madurai Bench, a second bench of the Madras High Court has been functioning at Madurai since 2004. It has jurisdiction over districts of Kanyakumari, Tirunavelli, Tutakarin, Madurai, Dindikul, Ramanathapram, Viratunagar, Shivaganga, Fadakote, Thanjava, Tiruchirappalli, and Karayuro OEJ. Chandra, a former judge of the Madras High Court, once remarked that the practice was AA Euro e Colonial League Shire Euro and should be discontinued with. Former Chief Justices. Supreme Court, Sir Thomas Andrew Lumisden Strange, Sir John Henry Newbolt, Sir Edmund Stanley, Sir Ralph Palmer, Sir Robert Buckley Cummin, Sir Edward John Gambier, Sir Christopher Rawlinson. Sir Henry Davison, Sir Colley Hammond Scotland, High Court, Sir Colley Hammond Scotland, Acting Sir Adam Bidleston, Sir Walter Morgan, Sir Charles Arthur Turner, Sir Arthur John Hammond Collins, C. A. White, J. E. P. Wallace, Sir Walter George Salis Schwab, Sir Murray Coodstratter, Sir Horace Owen Compton Beasley, Sir Alfred Henry Lionel Leach, Sir Frederick William Gentle, High Court, P. V. Rajmanares Ramakandra Iyer, Palagani Chandra Reddy M. Anantanarayanan, Kapaswami Naidu Viraswami, Palapati Sadla Yagounda Kalazam, Padmanabh Apalaka Vindan Naya, Tiri Rame Prasada Rao, Muhammad Kasim Muhammad Ismail, Krishna Balap Narayan Singh, Madhi Kanahor Chanda Kar, Shamuka Sundara Mohan, Adarsh Sina Nand, Kanta Kumari Bhatnagar, Kudara Koti Anadanaya Swami, Manmohan Singh Nibran, Ashok Shotalila Gawal, Konikupakatal Gopinathan Balakrishnan, Najendra. Kumar Jain B. Sabashan Reddy, Markande Katju, Ajit Prakash Shah, Asok Kumar Ganguly, Hemant Laxman Gokhail, M. Y. Iqbal, Rajesh Kumar Agrawal, Satish K. Agnihotri, Sanjay Kishan Kaur, Former Judges, Honorable Mr. Justice S. Maramuthu, Honorable Mr. Justice K. Samitalrai, Honorable Mr. Justice A. C. Arumu Gapramal Adityan, Honorable Mr. Justice M. Choklingham, Honorable Mr. Justice J. Kanakaraj, Honorable Justice A. Kula Sikaran, Honorable Mr. Justice S. Ashok Kumar, Honorable Mr. Justice P. Mira Dizan, Honorable Mr. Justice Ravi Raja Pandian, Honorable Mr. Justice S. Sive Subramaniam, Honorable TMT. Justice Prabhas Ridoban, Honorable Mr. Justice S. A. Kada, Honorable Mr. Justice K. N. Basha, Honorable Mr. Justice Chithamani, Honorable Mr. Justice K. Venkta Raman, Honorable Mr. Justice N. V. Balay Subramanya, 
Honorable Mr. Justice K. Chandra, Honorable Mr. Justice K. Kanan, see also. High Courts of India, Architecture of Chennai, Heritage Structures in Chennai, References. External links, Madras Law Journal website. High Court of Madras website.